Hey guys, welcome to Akash Tutorial and today we will be dealing about electron transport scenes. So before going into the electron transport scenes, we will review a, a small a structure of, a small and brief a structure of mitochondria. So mitochondria is enveloped by two membranes, one outer membrane and one inner membrane. Now an inner membrane is folded to form crystal. Is folded to form crystal. So we are mainly concerned with the enzymes, various enzymes that are associated with the outer membrane, intermembranous space, inner mitochondrial membrane, and the mitochondrial matrix. And of information is that the outer membrane is permeable to most of the enzymes and the metabolites, but the inner membrane is impermeable or selectively permeable. That is permeable to only some of the metabolites, and it is impermeable to uh, hydrogen ions. Now the various enzymes that are being associated with the various layers of mitochondria are the enzymes that are found on the outer membrane are acyl coenzyme A synthase and glycerophosphate transferase in the in Intermembranous space that is between the inner membrane and the outer membrane, creatine kinase, adenine kinase. Now the enzymes or the various substrates that are being associated with the inner mitochondrial membrane is the respiratory chains or the components of electron transport chains. There are five complexes. Four complexes are mobile carriers. That is the respiratory chain, one ATP synthase complex, and some proton transporters. Now, in the mitochondrial matrix, the enzymes that are found is citric acid cycle, that is the enzymes of the Krebs cycle, pyruvate dehydrogenase, and for the enzymes of beta oxidations of fats. So this is a brief review about the mitochondria and the various enzymes that are being associated with the various membranes and the matrix. Now if we take a cross sections of the mitochondria from here, we'll get these structures. For the sake of clarity, I have made a simplified version. That is the complex 1, complex 3, complex 4, again from complex 2, complex 3 and at last it is the complex 5. It is often known as ATP synthase complex. This is the mitochondrial matrix, inner mitochondrial membrane, and the intermembranous space. So what is electron transport chain? Electron transport chain is a form, is a process in which electrons are transferred from an electron donor to an electron acceptor, from donor to acceptor, to acceptor. So the donor is substrate via NADH and the last acceptor is oxygen and it expands through a potential difference of 1.1 volt in our inner mitochondrial membrane. Now the names of various complexes are first of all complex 1 it is often known as NADH coenzyme Q reductase why it is named so i will be uh, dealing with the names after undergoing into the various complexes so first of all this is a substrate substrate in the form of pyruvate or citric acid cycle substrates or beta oxidations so they will transfer electrons to nad plus nad plus so it will be changed into NADH. Now NADH will transfer its electron to FMN and FMN will be changed, will be changed into FMNH2 and it will donate its electron to a iron sulfur complex. Now this iron sulfur complex is a simple one because it is Mainly, the iron is associated with two cysteine 
amino acid molecules so it is a simple fps complex and it will donate its electron to uv quinine or coenzyme q so we can see it is a transfer of electron from nads to coenzyme q so this complex has got the name nadh coenzyme q reductase complex and this reaction is associated with pumping of four hydrogen into the intermembranous space now coming on to the second complex second complex acts when there is a substrate in the form of succinate now succinate it will be changed into fumarate and electron will be transferred to FAD that will be changed into FAD H2 it will transfer its electron to the same FES complex and FES complex will donate its electron to UV quinine it is a mobile molecule so and it is also known as coenzyme Q now coenzyme Q will transfer its electrons to a complex of cytochromes and this complex is known as succinate coenzyme Q reductase complex and this is the first site of ATP synthesis as it is donating the electrons now coenzyme Q will donate its electron to cytochrome B it will also transfer its electron to cytochrome B now cytochrome B will transfer the electron to iron sulfur complex but this is a different iron sulfur because in in this complex Fe is a spanning between the two from Fe2 that is ferrous to ferric form and the iron is concerned with two histidine amino acids amino acid it is also known as risky FES complex FES complex now this FES will donate its electron to cytochrome C1 there is also cytochrome C1 and this will donate its electron to cytochrome C there is also cytochrome C and it is also associated with the pumping of 4, elect four hydrogen um, that is 4 hydrogen that is protons to the outside both proton to the outside now this cytochrome C is again mobile complex and it donates its electron to cytochrome A and this complex 4 is also known as this is a cytochrome complex and we can also know that is a coenzyme Q complex coenzyme Q cytochrome C complex because we can see this transferring of electron from coenzyme Q to the cytochrome C now this complex 4 is known as cytochrome oxidase cytochrome oxidase why cytochrome oxidase? it is a heme associated complex there is a presence of heme and there is also presence of copper and it is it is transferring its electron cytochrome is transferring electron to cytochrome A3 and cytochrome A3 is the last complex that is it donating its electron to oxygen in the mitochondrial matrix and this is the only cytochrome complex that directly transfer its electron to oxygen so it is known as cytochrome oxidase it is associated with copper heme and the oxygen after getting the electron will be changed into oxygen anion oxygen anion that will be reacting with two molecules two protons to form water and this water is known as metabolic water and this process is associated with pumping of two hydrogen ions to the outside so we can see this occurs this and this process do not occur simultaneously either this occurs or this occurs so we can see four hydrogen here four hydrogen here and two hydrogen here so in total 10 hydrogen that is 10 hydrogen ions or 10 protons are pumped are pumped to the intermembranous space and it the first site of ATP synthesis 
सेकेंड साइट ऑफ ए टी पी सिंथेसिस एंड थर्ड साइट ऑफ ए टी पी सिंथेसिस वेन एवर दिज ट्रांसफरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो दे आर सॉर्टिंग इन बीटर्स विच विल इनिबिट द ट्रांसफर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम वेरियस कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सो द इनिबिटर्स डेट विल इनिबिट द कॉम्प्लेक्स वन आर प्रोटीन ऑन एमो बार्बिटल एमाइटल एंड पायर सीडिंग वेर एज द इनिबिटर्स डेट विल इनिबिट द Complex two, the complex three to transport the electrons are British anti-Lewisite, anti-Lewisite, and the complex four. It is the most common asked question. Is the cyanide S two S sodium azide. So whenever there is presence of inhibitors. so there will be no transferring of electrons and no electron transport chain occurs and this gradient will cause the hydrogen ion to be pumped from the complex 5 that it is this process is coupled with the oxidative phosphorylation that i will be dealing in my next lecture so this all is about the electron transport chain i hope you have understood this thank you